Tony with Wandering Wiener Antiques and uh, please bear with me this is my first YouTube video um, I've been buying and selling and collecting antiques uh, all the way back to when I was a teenager back in the 90s and uh, tells you how old I am but anyway I've been buying selling and had an eBay store since 97 finally built my own website that's what I do for a living and uh, marketing and web design and uh, finally decided to market myself. So here we are, we're on YouTube now. Uh, I'm gonna share with you my uh, wanderings as I go around Kansas City and uh, anywhere else I go. And I'm gonna show you what I find. Uh, I've found all sorts of cool stuff over the years uh, from uh, Rockefeller, uh, things that belong to the Rockefeller family, to uh, autographed baseballs that should never be at a garage sale, Just all sorts of cool stuff and uh, I'm going to show you everything I find and uh, take you through it live as we dig through it and uh, we'll see what we can find. Today I went to a sale I didn't know that uh, it was going to be there uh, just happened to drive by and bought boxes and boxes full of jewelry uh, hundreds of watches a bunch of old uh, uh, advertising pieces uh, ashtrays uh, from beer German beer that kind of thing um, that's what I love is advertising that's what I do for a living so love old advertising love sports stuff baseball especially um, so you'll find a lot of that on this channel but uh, keep watching subscribe down below here and uh, we'll see what we can find in today's haul so here is part of today's collection that I bought at a garage sale um, this is just the jewelry this has uh, boxes and boxes of stuff in it and uh, haven't dug through it quite yet but uh, we're going to go through it here today live and uh, and you'll see my reaction as I find some cool stuff in there we'll see what's in there hopefully some gold and uh, you never know the next video that I do is going to have the watch collection although it looks like there's some antique watches in here as well so uh, but I bought hundreds of watches at this sale, so uh, I have no idea what's in them. Uh, they made me a deal on all of them, and uh, the next video I do will be uh, just the watches. But today we're sorting this jewelry, so let's get started. All right, so here is the first box of jewelry that I'm going to go through. We're just going to start out at the top, work our way through it, and uh, this is... Lord Nelson Pottery from Staffordshire, England. It's kind of cool. I don't know anything about that, but uh, kind of a cool glass necklace. Looks like a lot of this is just costume junk jewelry, but that's good because that stuff sells to you. Um, don't think there's any markings on this. I do have my loop with me today. Uh, that one's actually stirring. 925, we'll put that aside. Another close-up for you. Again, first video. Got to work my way through this. A couple of keys. That's nothing too exciting. There's a ring watch. I'm sure that's not anything too fancy. Made by Geneva in... Hong Kong, so no, nothing too fancy at all. A couple of pinbacks. That's a pretty ugly pin. Here's a ring. Looks like uh, gold and rubies in there, but I bet that's a uh, costume. But it is marked, so we'll check that out. Yeah, that's one twentieth of twelve karat gold filled. It looks like, but not too shabby. There's another little pin. It's nothing special. Religious. It looks like blood donor pins. It's kind of cool. Here's a nice little gold looking pin with a pearl in it. Let's see if it's got a mark. I don't believe it does. Nope, that's more costume. A 
another pin, another pin. I doubt this one is gold, but again, never can tell. My mom used to deal in antique jewelry all the time, and uh, so I know enough to be dangerous. However, it has gotten me in trouble before thinking I know what it is and it's not. But that said, I do try to check every piece that looks like it might be good, such as this old retro 40s or so bow tie pin, a ribbon pin. Um, a lot of these are just gold filled, but those add up as well. Don't see markings on that at all. I think I've realized that this is going to be a very long video, so I might have to edit some things out. So bear with me if the... Uh, that's some Avon. That's a lot of junk. But anyway, I uh, might have to edit a little bit of this so I don't put you guys to sleep. But... I already found one piece of sterling, so it's got to be, it's another matching set of earrings there. There's got to be some something good in here, I'm sure. It's a nice little leaf stick pin, but no markings on that. I guess I should show you some of this again as I'm going. There is a trumpet pin. That's not exactly classy at all. There's a lamp post pin. That looks like a bowling pin. I don't know. No, it's a guitar or some sort of musical instrument. There's another one. couple of old clip-on earrings. Nothing too special there. That one's got a mark. Let's see. Is that sterling? Not sterling, but it is marked with the maker's mark, if I can read it. Rich Field. Let's go up here to some of these chains, make sure that nothing good in these gold-colored chains. Again, I'm guessing not. Chain is not marked. Let's check out the pendant just to be sure. Yeah, that's not not anything special there. Gotta love necklace tangles. If anybody has a trick on untangling necklaces. I've heard toothpicks work sometimes. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with that, but I do want to check this gold colored necklace out, make sure it's nothing. And it does not appear to be anything good. There is a kind of a cool ring, but not marked. more really bad looking ugly rings. It's kind of an opal looking uh, earring. Hopefully some of these have some matches on it. Looks like they do. A lot of this costume stuff is worth quite a bit of money too. This one's Sarah Coventry. That looks like it might be a old sterling heart ring. I realize I'm going to have to learn how, how to make this camera focus when I hold something up to it, but yeah, that's sterling. That's pretty heavy. Uh, now that matches those earrings. Matching earring and, and uh, ring set. Here's a broken chain. It's marked something on it. Not gold, it's marked Korea. There's one of the spoon rings, those are quite often sterling. 
that one is Avon, but it's still Sterling. Not too bad. And there is quite the ugly heart necklace. Let's see if I can get it to turn around here for you. I don't know who wears this stuff, but uh, it's popular. It's another ugly earring, and I just saw this down here. I hadn't seen that before. I'm sure that's got to be a diamond, right? No. That is about the farthest from a diamond as I've seen. Here's another ribbon pin that goes with the last one that I found. I'll have to match those up later. Another Korea chain. That's kind of nice if you're into sailing. Enameled brooch. That's a suitcase pin that says, I love New York and Paris. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be Mark Sterling on the back. 925. It's kind of neat. But uh, so far, no gold, quite a bit of sterling. No gold. I don't find gold too often in here, but every once in a while you will find something, a necklace or a bracelet. We will see if today's haul, which this is box one out of that entire copy paper box full, we'll see if see if this one uh, has any gold in it. There's a lot of tangled stuff in here. I think I'll go through this little stuff later off camera. Kind of want to get down into some of this other stuff. There's a nice ladies watch I don't know anything about that if it's Seiko stainless steel nothing too fancy I guess there's another that one's art deco Swiss made Amita perhaps that's junk but Art Deco styled at least in the 20s, 30s. There's a nice fancy looking one there. Bolova. Some of these can turn out to be gold. That one is also stainless steel, looks like. A nice copper bracelet, probably men's bracelet. There's another Vintage, the band has been replaced, but vintage uh, 1920s or 30s women's watch. That is a Hamilton. Pretty sure that one is not gold, but I'll have to dig into that one a little bit more later. So far, nothing too exciting. It's like a uh, abalone or mother of pearl pendant. Nice and shiny. It's a nice older bracelet with all sorts of stones on it. Kind of like a charm bracelet. That one has a tag on it. Let's see who made that. Emmons or Emmons, I'm not sure who that is, but that's a decent piece I'll set aside. Another little brass and enamel bird bracelet. That's a nice 80s retro looking like it's old. Here's a nice vintage 
20s, 30s watch, or maybe 30s, 40s, I suppose. That one, I do not see a mark on, but that one looks pretty nice. I might have to take that one apart and see if there's any sort of markings on that one. What brand is that? I can't tell. It's pretty worn. But, it's pretty nice. There is a diapered doll. You never know what you're going to find in these in these boxes of random stuff that people have collected over the years. The people I bought this from today said that uh, it was their parents' stuff and they had lived there forever. And you could tell. I left, I left stuff behind. I was there for almost an hour digging through things. And uh, I know I left some good stuff behind. But I had to get back to work. Judy Lee. Never heard of that, but somebody will like that one. Another Christmas pin. Christmas stuff is usually pretty popular. There's another Rejoice Christmas pin. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff in here. There's a nice tacky brooch. Charm bracelets are always popular. That's a decent one. Cuckoo clock. A couple cuckoo clocks. Don't see any markings on that, I don't think. Certainly not gold. But not too bad. People always, always like charm bracelets. Another big chain. Looks like an eyeglass chain. It's got little rubber tips on it. Big leaf pin. That's pretty tacky as well. A lot of this stuff is pretty ugly. A couple little bracelets that aren't anything special. Another one. A couple of buttons. Nice old bracelet that looks like it's marked something. Copper. That's odd. I've never seen any piece marked copper before. Bags. You can always use plastic bags. A couple pairs of earrings. Keys. is special right there. Well, we're getting down to the bottom here. I haven't found anything too good. There's a nice hat pin or stick pin. Those can often be gold, so you got to check those out as well. Although, I don't see a mark. Oh, I do see a mark. Let's get that under the light. I think we have our first piece of gold right there. I see the K. I think we got ourselves a gold stick pin. That's a pretty old one too, I think. Here's another looks like older watch. It's an Elgin. Wow, that one is 10 carat. The bezel on that is 10 carat. That is a good news. It's kind of art deco looking, but I think it's from the 80s. It's not, not uh, old at all. Bunch more earrings. 
quite a bit, bit of nothing in here. There's another Christmas Rejoice pin. More Christmas. This must have been the Christmas side over here. I think that's pretty much it. I need to dig through these a little bit better, but uh, I think that's everything for this box. So the good news, several pieces of sterling and got ourselves a 10 karat women's watch probably from the 40s 50s we'll see if that one runs if it runs that'll be worth some decent change um i think we're gonna call it quits on this box for right now and like i said i have more in this copy paper box that we're gonna keep going through tonight and probably tomorrow because it's quite a bit all right, we're back with more from today's garage sale finds, and uh, I switched it up. There's a bunch of individual boxes and a couple uh, other different trays here and a baggie of watches and other things. So uh, my mom used to collect jewelry that was Bakelite, and my dad had a bunch of stuff as well back when I was a kid, uh, radios and clocks and all that. That kind of feels like Bakelite, but I have never seen anything like that, so I'm guessing no. This one might be Black Bakelite Celluloid. We'll have to do a little bit more research on those, but, uh, but I'm guessing probably not Bakelite on that fancy one. This looks like uh, some costume. It's kind of pretty, though. Big amethyst-looking purple stone necklace. And a uh, old locket. Open that thing up and see what it is. Probably gold filled at best. Don't even see it marked anywhere. Probably Avon or something really fancy. Nothing too exciting there. Let's see what's in here. These could be good. Looks like they're from Hellsbergs. I'm gonna bet gold and pearl earrings there. And more pearl, gold colored at least. Let's see what these are. Don't think those are anything. Yeah, there's no mark on those. However, now I'm curious about these from Hellsbergs. If that's the original box, they surely would be gold, but not a whole lot of gold there. And whatever it was, I just broke it. I literally just broke that earring right off of there. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Well, we'll check that out. I guess we got some scrap, perhaps. Plastic. The rhinestone cross, that's kind of cool. Don't see too many rhinestone crosses. I think I'll set that aside. Some sort of leather necklace. These look like all plastic beads. Nothing fancy in there. Maybe this one has a nice clasp, and that's pretty heavy. Don't think that one's marked, but it's much heavier than the others. Yep, definitely older, but fake pearls. Not a whole lot in there, except for this watch. That, again, is another nice 30s, 40s women's watch. That is a Bruin. That's cool. 10 karat gold filled. Well, 
not too bad. Set that aside. Um, pretty sure nothing else in there. Bracelets always sell good. I'm going to set those aside as well. I'm going to go through the watches last. That's not even part of the big watch collection that I bought. Here's some nice, ugly 80s jewelry. That's cool. Everybody likes the old USA rhinestone pins. That one's got a mark on it too. Bauer. That's pretty nice. Hopefully all the uh, rhinestones are in it. Kind of looks like it. Pretty sure Brower is a decent brand. I guess I can put that back in the box that way I don't bust it up. This is, it says cross on it, but it's not a cross, it's a cross locket. Double check the chain, make sure it's nothing. Gold filled, it says, which means the locket probably is too. Not sure the locket is marked at all, actually. But we'll set that aside as well. I set aside all my gold filled jewelry because. There is a small trace of gold in each of those, and it all adds up. That's pretty ugly. This must be the ugly box. A lot of 1980s Trafari on that one. Another bow pin. It's a nice, ugly gold necklace that's unfortunately not gold I'm sure no it's too crappy looking to be gold that one maybe sterling but I don't see a mark Key brooch. There's another ugly 80s. And that one actually looks quite promising. Last thing in the box, unless there's something underneath. What is it? I used to be able to read this stuff very easily, even without a jeweler's loop but I can't anymore. This is marked, pretty certain that this is a gold bracelet, but I'm gonna have to get better light and magnification on that, but pretty sure that one's gold. And always wanna look underneath, make sure nothing fell under. I found some good stuff underneath the uh, cotton padding in a lot of these boxes before over the years. Nothing terribly excited in there, but did get a piece of what I think is gold. This box is very heavy. It's another Hellsberg box, but I doubt that that came from Hellsberg, but that's a nice retro earring and necklace set. Probably marked some sort of maker on the back. Three more boxes and a bag of watches to go. A lot of ugly stuff in here. Some butterflies. That thing. A lot of brooches, cat brooch. Nothing good in there, unfortunately. That's actually...
actually quite expensive looking, even though it's probably his costume. Yep, not marked, but definitely enameled on the front. Some sort of uh, parrot or other fancy bird. Some ugly 80s stuff. Really ugly. Ah, there is stuff under that box. Right under here. Ugly. But there is this ring. That's about a two or three carat stone that I'm sure is junk. Well, it says 14 carat, but a lot of stuff after that that I think is not 14 carat, but I will check that out a little further later. If anybody likes old jewelry, you can have a lot of fun digging through this stuff that you find at a garage sale. I don't like most of this stuff, obviously, but uh, I've found some good stuff over the years. A lot of gold mixed in with things over time. And uh, it's strange that people either don't know or don't care what they have. Another Judy Lee. Nothing fancy in those, so we're down to the bag of watches here. No idea what's in here yet. Looks like there's some other chains and things as well. There's a KU Jayhawk watch. I actually went to KU. Not terribly excited about that anymore, but uh, that's a whole other long story we won't get into. Another 1980s or so watch. There is a Winnie the Pooh watch. Quite the beast from Radio Shack. This is a golf marker, tee, clock, something. Very heavy and ugly. Another older 70s, 80s watch. Nothing fancy there. It's a nice looking Seiko. Pretty sure that's not gold. I don't even know if Seiko makes gold watches, but uh, I'm guessing no on that. We do have some more gold colored chains here that I'll check out real quick. Doubt these are anything, but always like to check to, just to make sure. Nothing there, but that's kind of cool. Looks like an old coin, even though it's not. Another gold chain. Korea, so not gold. And I'm pretty sure this one's not either with this bolo tie that's in the shape of a boot. Pretty sure that's nothing there. So looks like a couple pieces of gold, maybe one, two pieces. And uh, we'll move on to the next box. All right, we're back with yet another box from today's garage sale. 
lots of jewelry, tons and tons. That's a nice rhinestone-ish looking set. It doesn't belong here with these plastic beads, but not too bad. Looks like some stones are missing on that though. Is a tin full that I haven't even opened yet. All of this stuff was pretty much as you see it, and I piled it all together. There's some uh, mother of pearl earrings that I don't know if you can see it, but you can probably see the mark right on there. That's I don't even have to look at that. That's sterling. Some more earrings. More earrings. Avon, nothing exciting. There's some nice 80s stuff. Surgical steel posts. Pretty fancy. That looks like uh, some bake light there, an earring. Hopefully there is a match to that in here somewhere. It looks like just a little collection of all sorts of earrings. Doesn't look like anything special in there. Here's a gift box. Cultured, cultured freshwater pearls on silver, sterling silver. Looks like it's brand new. Also feels like there's something else in there. There is. Another pair of earrings. Don't think these are silver. No. But, <clears throat> excuse me, pearl and sterling earrings. There is a chain that looks kind of goldish. We'll have to check that out. It's a long one. And it is not. More eighties. That's fancy. That's a set. Necklace and earring set. From Korea. Not as good as I was hoping. More plastic beads. Another ugly locket. Always like to open those up, make sure there's no pictures inside, but nothing in that one. More glass, plastic beads. This must be the plastic. Brand new. Another long gold colored chain, I'm sure probably junk. Another Korea perhaps. Not even marked on that one. Another Santa. Wood beads. I see a couple cool things down in here that I am saving for the last. Here's a pearl looking necklace. Always want to check these out, just double check. Nothing on that. 
There is a parrot, probably from Mexico or somewhere like that. Philippines. That one's actually kind of cool with the leaves on it. That is a heavy chain. Guaranteed to not be gold when it's that heavy. Sometimes they're marked with the maker on it though. There's an old bracelet that sort of looks like Bakelite, but I don't think that's correct. Here in the bottom is another old 30s, 40s woman's watch. And let's see who made that one. I can't read it. Hampton. I don't think I've heard of that brand. That one is 14 karat gold. 14 karat gold woman's watch from the 30s, 40s. Then we've got this locket that's probably gold filled. But again, you want to open them up just to double check if you can. Some of these things haven't been open for 50 years and they're tight. You also have to be smart and notice that there is a little lip on it where you can open it up. W and M company, but the inside does not look like gold. It's all kind of chipped up. So probably gold plated, gold filled, but still old, probably early 1900s, 20s or so. This was the thing I saw when I first picked up this box. And it's got a knob on it, so it's got to be a watch. Yes, it is. Cola Berry. I have never heard of that. And it's a pretty cool pocket watch. I will have to look that one up. And that's the end of that box again, but best one out of there, 14 karat gold vintage 30s, 40s women's wrist watch. I like it. All right, we're back with another box from today's garage sale. Another box of old jewelry a lot of 80s style beads a lot of those that I guess people probably still wear so far we're about halfway through the box or the big copy paper box full of jewelry that I bought today and then we've got all the watches or the majority of the watches anyway that I bought as well and it's pretty ugly but uh, we'll go through those on another video remember to subscribe below I guess this is a set I should keep those together that's a earring and necklace set got a tag on there I'll have to look that name up later we'll set that one aside I guess it has the other earring not sure if it does or not This one looks kind of interesting. There's a elephant pendant, but this one looks kind of interesting. That'd be a heck of a deal if that was gold and jade, maybe. Let's get the loop out and check that out. That does say 14 karat. So I'm guessing 
I don't know if you can see it or not, but all these little beads in there are probably also 14 karat and glass, maybe. Hopefully jade, that would be awesome. Lots of ugly, ugly 1980s stuff. Some sort of Greek looking uh, jug necklace. More plastic beads. Another elephant. More 80s beads. Here's, this is the elephant box, I guess. This is cow bone elephant earrings, it says. Kind of gross. Here is a pendant watch that reeks of the 80s. Timex. Wonder if this thing is taking a licking and keep kept on ticking. Kind of doubt it, but there's a few more watches in here actually. Another lady's watch. Stainless steel pulsar. Another watch. That one looks a little nicer. Let's see what this is. That is a citizen. Not gold. Bunnies. More eighties. More eighties. More eighties. Kind of looks like it goes with that other set. We'll put that over there. Quite a bit of eighties stuff in that little box. Got a tiny baby ring. That thing is very small, but sometimes they even made these out of gold. Gold filled. There's a enamel locket of some sort. I don't think that that's anything. Nothing marked on that. A little ceramic jewelry box. More beads. Beads with the original tag on them made in Western Germany, it says. That's pretty neat. Empty boxes. Got some more watches in here. There's a broken band. There's another watch from that one. Also a Timex. I don't think that they make anything gold. Let's see what's in these ring boxes. That's a big ring. And it's not marked anything, so that one is pot metal or something. Something not valuable. There's a couple more of these in here. Let's see if there's anything in here. There's a couple earrings that... Uh, our junk. Another box. That is a rhinestone cross. Somebody like that. Let's open up this last box. Well, this could prove to be potentially good. There is a women's ring. It's got some sort of mark in it, it looks like. But it is not gold. It's too bad. Let's see what else we got. A couple chains. Probably not gold. Actually, 
from the other direction here. That, I don't know about the charm, I don't see a mark on it. But the chain is 14 karat gold. Actually, so is the butterfly charm. So this whole piece, 14 karat gold. I thought that some of this stuff looked pretty good. There's a golden colored brooch. That is also marked. That one is uh, 14 karat gold filled, however. Not bad. Got a couple more in here, an old filigree looking bar pin, but I think that that's probably not as old as it looks. If that were original, that'd be from the 20s. I think this is a reproduction, and it's not marked anything, so pretty certain. Got a couple more. A couple more left. Might be some more chains and earrings that might be gold in here. There's another butterfly that kind of matches the other. Yep, that one is 14K. That matches, so let's see if we've got the other... Yeah, there is the other earring, 14 karat gold, yellow gold butterfly earring. Here is a pearl and kind of a Nike swoosh looking earring. I do not see a mark on this. But it doesn't look bad. I think I'll look at that a little closer. There's a matching one to go with it. And we're down to the last little chain in this box. I can't see. It's kind of uh, tangled. Well, that one is turning green, so I'm guessing that that's a no. Check the chain out just to be sure. It is marked something gold filled on that. So we've got a couple good ones there, but we still have some more to go here. Plastic bracelet, another plastic 80s bracelet, another one. And just kind of flung that across the box, but there is another antique vintage watch, ladies watch. I do not see a name on it. The face is pretty worn. That one is 10 karat rolled gold plate. Not quite as exciting as our gold watches, but not bad. There's another one. I don't know what brand that is. That is a Cinderella watch. That's got to be from the 80s, I would bet. There's another one. Accutron. That's another gold filled. More 80s, 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 80s. That looks either like plastic or jade, but kind of feels lightweight. Might be, might be jade. This looks like a bag with some gold in it. Save that one out. Let's go through the watches first before we hit that bag. Another lady's watch. Stainless steel, nothing fancy there. Another woman's watch. Another stainless steel. A couple more left. Well, that one says Rolex, but pretty certain that that's not a Rolex. It looks a little too cheap to be a Rolex, but we'll set it aside just to be sure. Check it out later. It's another nicer looking one. Well, that's a Timex. 
Not terribly good. Not much there. Sorry about that. But this little baggie appears to have a couple pieces that could turn out to be good. Let's start with the rhinestones here. And this will be the last of this box. The old rhinestone brooch. Not marked, nothing special on that. Another rhinestone brooch. Don't think that one is marked. Nope. And let's just dump this out, make it easy. All right. So that's awfully sparkly. Woman's ring. Let's see what that one is marked. Well. That one is gold filled, but that's an old one. Looks like that's possibly from the 40s or 50s or so. There's another older women's ring. Also gold filled. That's kind of disappointing, but here's a nice one. That is a nice old antique... Uh, women's pendant with a cameo on it. That one looks like it's probably brass. Yeah. And we're down to one little chain out of this box. Let's see if this one's anything. That's marked something, but SK SK is not gold. I don't know what that is. Well, that's it for that box. Got some gold filled. Got, I think, a couple pieces of gold out of there, if I remember right. But uh, keep sorting. And uh, we've got a couple more boxes left to go. All right, we're back again. This is the last two boxes out of my copy paper box full of old jewelry from the garage sale today. Computer. This is kind of cool, even though I think it's just plastic. Not jewelry, but old uh, Chinese fan. More vintage plastic necklaces. That one looks like wood. More plastic. That one is uh, wood, kind of weird looking. Some zebras. This one looks halfway interesting. Pearl and gold colored. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we got. Korea. Not gold. A lot of some turquoise ish looking uh, stone necklace there. Nothing too thrilling. Oh, I'll grab that later. That is kind of cool. It's very gaudy, but uh, somebody will like it, I'm sure. Well, let's go through this a little at a time. This is a nice wooden jewelry box. Not sure how old that is, probably 50s, 60s maybe, 70s, I don't know. Looks like a bunch of earrings. I'm guessing, kinda looks like most of these are a little bit of junk, but that one's sterling, I can see that mark. Not sure if you guys can read that, but definitely sterling. Let's see if we got the matching pair to that one. I don't believe that those are sterling. It does not. 
not look like we have the matching pair to that, but it could be in a different area of this box. Those are kind of nice. Older rhinestone. I'll dig through this just a little bit more later. But I don't think we have anything great in here. Let's try this one. Well, there's a bunch to dig through. If I dump or tip this over, it's going to dump out, but uh, you can probably... Oh, there's a mirror. Maybe you can see some of it. I will definitely have to go through that. Check that for some gold here in a minute. That is a cool piece. Is that lapis, perhaps? Let's see if this has a mark on it. Got a giant C on it. I don't know what that is. That's pretty well made, though. Definitely some sort of natural stone. Old 80s bracelet. It's got some mark on it. Never heard of that brand. Definitely 80s. That looks like another sterling heart necklace there go a little bit with the one earring I have. Yep, 925 from Italy. That's pretty good. Speaking of sterling, I wonder if that is sterling. Kinda doesn't look like it. Yeah, I see nothing marked on that, but it's kinda cool. Here's a giant silver colored necklace. That would be alright if that was sterling. It's pretty heavy. But it is not sterling. It's not marked anything. That's too bad. There's a giant gold nugget and I'm 99% sure that I'll be disappointed with this. Ninety-nine percent just went to a hundred percent. That's fake. Another gold chain. I'm sure that is nothing. Nothing there. It's a nice bracelet there. is also not marked. Nope. Neither side marked on that. Here's a good rhinestone bracelet. Old one, probably. Old-ish. No name on that one that I can see. Nope. But that one's not too shabby. It's a nice rhinestone brooch. Cameo brooch. That's definitely newer from the 80s or so. It's ugly. There's a lot of ugly stuff in here. There's also some more gold and silver looking necklaces here. We'll see if these are any good. Don't think so. Another necklace with some cotton from the box. And that one Is sterling. Kind of small, but not too bad. That'll clean up. Quite a bit of sterling in this group. There's another necklace. And that one, also sterling. It's a 
another bracelet there that's got some jade looking stones, but I don't believe this is anything good. Not marked anything. There is a watch face from a broken bulova. There's another gold colored bracelet. Be nice if one of these turned out to be real, but I don't believe this one is either. No markings on that one. One single earring, there's probably a match in there somewhere. Not marked. Another pearl looking pendant. Don't believe that is anything. Not marked. There's a nice gold colored chain that looks like it could be something good. got some damage on it. It'll work for scrap if it's gold, but that side has no mark. That side does, and it says 14 karat gold. Score on that one. That one's fairly heavy. Probably a gram or two there. 50 bucks or so, I'm guessing. I need to carry this with me. That wouldn't be embarrassing at all. Magnifying glass necklace. Almost to the end. Another cross rhinestone necklace. Some sort of chain or necklace there. This looks like it's sterling. Another butterfly. Strangely, that is not sterling. And neither is the chain. Got fooled on that one. Sometimes they look good. And that one is not either. It's all right. It's another match to the earring from earlier. Another cross. There is an old pendant watch. Sylvia, if that sounds right. That's kind of cool because the back side is clear and has all the workings. Set that one out. Another cross. And apparently not sterling as well. There is an Indian head penny. Necklace from 1898. That's kind of neat. Alright, we are down to that little bit in here. There's another cross, rhinestone. It's a nice chain bracelet. Let's see how good this one is. Italy 925, so sterling. That's Pretty nice. Got quite a bit of sterling today. Some more 80s. There's a ring in there I didn't see before. Another old necklace. I'm going to save that ring till the end. There's a military looking button. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a couple rings, it looks like. That looks like a medical bracelet of some sort. I better check that one. It's awfully heavy. Don't think it is anything. This old 80s button. 
There is a locket with the original tag. And now we've got two rings. There's one little bitty ring. ring. And that is 14 karat. More gold, which is leading me to believe that this might be as well. And possibly a diamond. I don't know. I don't know my stones very well. Well, this is even better. That probably is a diamond because this is 18 karat gold. Which means that that is maybe a 20 point quarter carat, something like that. Diamond, I assume. 18 karat gold right there. That's probably 3-4 grams it feels like. Maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to weigh that one, but that <laughs> strangely is the last thing in that box, I think. Yeah. There's another pin. There's a couple of little things in there. So the best thing that I found in that jewelry is the very last thing I've looked at. However, I also have this to go through. Might find some more sterling and gold in there. But that's a lot to dig through, so I'm not going to bore you with that one. But uh, might find some more. So I thought I would recap all the good stuff that I found in this uh, batch of garage sale jewelry. A copy paper box full that I bought. All of that is gold-plated. A couple old watches and a ring. This is gold-filled. Also another watch or two and uh, some nice brooches and necklaces and a couple rings. All of this, sterling silver, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, brooches, cameo. This old watch, women's watch, is marked gold filled on the chain, but I think the watch itself might be better than that. I need to have that one tested. And all of this, inside the jade and gold bead uh, necklace, is all 14 and 18 karat gold. That ring, 18 karat. Watch, 14 karat. Everything else is 14 as well. Not a bad haul for uh, a garage sale.